You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Bold and the Beautiful fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt. I have got some huge news for you guys. So, John McCook reveals a real life illness that took him off the B&B set. And it sounds like Eric is going to head to the hospital after the fashion showdown. And this all came from a brand new interview with the actors. Of course, right now, everyone is worried about the fate of both John McCook and Eric Forster on B&B. And some fans are distracted from the Tremors and Illness story because of fake news about his contract renewal. So in a recent an interview with Michael Fairman, the Ridge and Eric actors, Torsten Kay and John McCook talked about the fashion showdown, what may happen with Eric's illness and the real life medical issue that kept John McCook off the set for days impacting the filming of that fashion showdown. So this is all very topical. It's very interesting news. I'm going to dig into it and unpack it for you guys. If you haven't already, please reach down and click subscribe so you don't miss any of our bold and the beautiful spoilers and news. So this Fairman interview with uh, John McCook and Torsten K was pretty interesting. It's about 30 minutes long. You can watch it on his channel if you want. But of course, the men are limited in what they can say while being interviewed. Interviewed. But there was a couple of very interesting nuggets from the actors that perked up my ears as I watched it. So one tidbit was about Eric Forster's illness and the other about John McCook's real life illness that forced him to miss shooting critical episodes surrounding the plot plot of father versus son. First, we're going to talk real life, R-E-E-L, and then real life, R-E-A-L. So Michael Fairman read off a fan question that said, Ridge, will you and Eric fight causing Eric to go to the hospital? And Torsten K answered and said, no, he's going to go to the hospital because he doesn't take care of himself. That's why he's going to the hospital. And John McCook said, yeah, that's why. Too many martinis. Too many martinis, baby. <laughs> So he was laughing when he said his part about the martinis, but Torsten K wasn't joking around when he said the first part, he didn't seem to be at any rate, about how Eric's going to go to the hospital for not taking care of himself. So when I heard this, you know, I had to ask, does that mean what I think it means? I have been wondering, and I mentioned it in my recent Bold and Beautiful Weekly Spoilers video. You can see it on the playlist or just in the recent videos on our, our the main area of our channel, that Eric might collapse after the showdown. Why am I wondering about this? So there's an official spoiler for Wednesday, October 18th that says Eric Forster ignores his doctor's orders and works like crazy to complete his line in time for the showdown. There's even a little photo. I can't show it to you because I think it was in the soap magazine, but his doctor's back out at the house doing a checkup, and I think he's going to tell him he's running himself ragged, don't do this, and Eric is going to do it anyway. So that's what has me asking, you know, in the weekly spoilers update, if you guys think that he is going to collapse. And then, lo and behold, a fan asked the same question that I had been wondering. And what was interesting also is neither Torsten nor John shut the question down they didn't say we can't talk about that or we can't give spoilers they to me to my ears they seemed to answer the question but with with McCook actually making a slight joke so and they they weren't laughing a whole lot or saying just kidding you know he'll be fine nothing like that so I am curious if Torsten and John just kind of low-key confirmed a spoiler that might tie to the existing spoiler about Eric ignoring doctor's orders. I mean, if Eric is pushing himself that hard, yes, I could see him collapsing with a mini stroke or something like that, which, you know, one of the complications of the di disorder they mentioned, CVD, cerebrovascular disorder, that the doctor said was one of the things they were looking at that scared the heck out of Donna. CVD conditions affect blood flow to your brain, and that can include stroke or brain aneurysm. Mind you, I am absolutely not implying Eric is going to die. There are some websites out there doing their fan fiction tabloid thing saying that Eric is going to drop dead at the fashion challenge. 
uh, A, no spoilers say this, and B, I just don't think John McCook is leaving the show. I don't think so. So I'm not going to jump on the clickbait BS bandwagon of fake news about any of this, about him dying, about McCook having a contractor. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm sticking to the legitimate spoilers and I'm telling you guys what the legitimate spoilers are and what happened in this interview. So I just don't think McCook's leaving. However, I am still looking forward to a nail biting climax to this story on Bald and the Beautiful. And there's another spoiler for next week that's undated right now. I hope to have a date for it soon but it says Donna is crushed to find out how serious Eric's condition is. Maybe, maybe we will get a diagnosis next week. We'll find out. Now on to the in real life news about John McCook's health. So Fairman asked the two actors about the guest stars that made appearances for the showdown. We just did a Bold and Beautiful Comings and Goings video about it. You can check the playlist or check our main channel. Uh, we did it on Thursday. So Marie Osmond is guesting as a German countess and Weiner characters Lauren Finmore and Esther Valentine will appear as well. That's Tracy Bregman and Kate Linder. They're doing a Young and the Restless crossover for the big Eric versus Ridge face-off. And then when they were talking about the guest stars, Torsten Kay talking about the people that came in to do the cameos said, John wasn't there for some of this. And then John McCook said, I wasn't for most of it. I was sick for a while. So when they actually shot the fashion show with the gowns and the guest stars and all the actors, I was home with COVID for three days and then I got better and then I came back and they had to reshoot and dovetail me into them. So, and then he said, I look forward to seeing it actually because he he missed it. He wasn't even there. So I'm curious if because of what he said, they're going to mostly have John McCook like in cutaways, you know, just kind of like almost like B-roll with just the, where he can still interact with the current characters that are around every day, like Ridge and Brooke and stuff like that. And they don't have to bring the guest stars back in. So that's very interesting to me at any rate. So that's what we've got for you. And of course, we will have more info soon. I'm sure there's going to be tons of spoilers and promos and all this coming out about this big five episode event, which I have said before, sounds like it's going to be about two and a half episodes too long. We'll see. You know how it is. They love to drag things out. All right, that is everything I have for you on this very interesting Torsten K and John McCook interview. I hope John McCook is feeling better and I hope Eric's feeling better soon too. And they both stick around Bold and the Beautiful for years to come. Hey, thanks for listening, guys. Please click subscribe if you haven't already. Drop your comments below and definitely click like if you enjoyed this. Thanks for talking soaps with me. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.